Yeah, so there's actually one thing that I want to talk about regarding like um, the technology with pickleball paddles. I think there's a very common misconception, not misconception, but like somehow it has become the industry standard where all pickleball paddles last forever or like at least one year. That's more of a testament to like how rudimentary like the technology was before. Like if you have a if you have a sheet of PP that's not altered in any regard and you slap two pieces of fiberglass, graphite or carbon fiber around it, like there is no reason that it shouldn't last. Right. But if you look at any sport or or most industries like the degradation of a product like how fast it degrades is directly correlated with the amount of technology that is offered within that good right for example like you're gonna if you have a ferrari it's you're gonna be taking it to get service far more than if you have a camry and then the especially with my background in swimming i think that was a very big thing um there in swimming you buy tech suits like basically just for races Um, And you can only wear them for about eight races before you, it's like obsolete, you know, it won't do you any good because of like the water resistance and how that works. Um, And those things are $500, you know, so you buy something in that industry, like $500, use it for like one or two meets, and then you're tossing it. Um, So it's just all about perspective. And I think um, people will slowly start to see how that um, correlates to the pickball industry, like, um, yes, we're working as hard as possible to like make a, our pals last as long as possible. But when you introduce a very new like manufacturing tactic that involves very high heat and extremely high surface tension, like I don't think it's reasonable to assume that it will last, you know, a year or whatnot. I think um, three to six months is optimal, like or ideal based on how we manufacture them. Um, but yeah, so that's the way that the industry is changing. And I think, um, uh, I'm hoping, you know, more people will start to see that as more technologies are introduced into the industry. Very interesting. So you're saying that the half-life of one of some of these like newer paddles is more like three to six months. Yeah. So I think that because for example, like think of our paddles as almost like, you know, at the highest level, like. A tournament paddle you know like you bust it out for a tournament if you want to perform at the highest level like obviously you want to practice with what you're using in a tournament um but so yeah that's kind of the way that i see it um i know that doesn't mean we're not working to fix it you know i'm working day and night to try to implement new core changes and um like different processes that don't damage the core as much um, but that's basically the gist of it. Yeah, the half life. What <clears throat> would change or extend that duration? Yeah, so there's several options. Um, one option is that you can use a smaller diameter honeycomb. So, like right now, each honeycomb is eight millimeters in diameter, and then um, these are like the little octagon cells that you see on the on the PP. And then you could use, uh, for example, a six millimeter diameter honeycomb. It's just like the smaller units will provide more. Um, sturdiness and then under high heats it won't is less likely to break down but the, there's downsides to that um there's like it adds weight that's the problem it adds a few grams of weight so we're implementing changes with that like i'm getting samples all the time that try to fix these issues like on a regular basis another um fix that is possible is um having more precise pp like the factory needs to we're working with them to source like more precisely cut pp so like i mentioned earlier if it's like 16.1 or 16.2 millimeters in thickness the top portion will kind of is more likely to be crumbled and those paddles might break down faster so we're um, trying to increase the quality of the pp and so ensure that most of them are cut at 16 millimeters exactly and there's very little give at the top Um, i think that plays a large role into um, the cores breaking. 